right, so mixing a little pre-workout. Getting our, I'm gonna do two scoops of Amplify and like three quarters of a scoop of Prevail. I'm gonna go for the ultimate focus pump. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a little chest training, which you guys have seen 10,000 times, but uh, what I'll do is I'll kind of recap everything like we kind of did before on uh, like the techniques and my goal on what I'm trying to do with my workouts, which has always been the goal since day one. It, it hasn't really changed, but what I'm really trying to do is just uh, get stimulation with as less work as possible. So it doesn't sound like, oh, that's motivating or whatever, but you know, you want to go to the gym and you want to do as least as you can to actually get the work done. So what I'll focus on from day one is repetitions, volume, angles, contractions, and every day is going to be different for a feel. So if you go through your training uh, and, you know, sometimes you might do eight sets, you feel great. Um, sometimes you might have to go to 15 sets and that seems to be the number. It really depends on how your activity levels been, your food intake, uh, your recovery. I did shoulders yesterday, so today is going to be uh, chest training, and uh, more than likely tomorrow will be an off day. I uh, may take a short trip to California. We'll see, and uh, you know, just try to have some fun because I have been traveling a, a lot right now. So we're on the east side right now, uh, Las Vegas. We're at the Gold's Gym on Eastern and Serene. So if you guys are ever in the Vegas area, this is uh, one of the hot spots for the EOS Fitness uh, over here. It used to be Gold's Gym. So stay tuned, we'll go inside and get this done. chest day on a Saturday so we never do chest on Mondays as you guys know if you follow my channel so if you aren't subscribed to this channel make sure you guys subscribe but I'm gonna recap this workout okay came in uh, obviously had a little conversation because today Saturday is busy on this side of town I don't always come to this gym but started with the wide grip hammer press and what I wanted to really focus on with this really get the blood in there I seem to always start with a hammer machine in the first two sets, which is what I call feel sets, I got in there, I got some blood moving, then I pyramided the weight up, okay? I ended up doing 12 repetitions uh, with like two plates and a quarter on there on each side. And what I'm really trying to do is, is really push the chest from the bottom and push and get that upper shelf contraction, okay? We always want to, you know, when you wear the t-shirt, you want to have the upper shelf. That's kind of my goal with that. So I did three working sets there two warm-up sets. The next exercise I rolled over to was the incline press with dumbbells, okay? So we did uh, pressing with the dumbbells, pretty standard exercise. Uh, did one set for feel, and then I went to three working sets up to 10 to 12 repetitions. I think my last set I finished with 10. But with this, really just trying to not really focus on the upper chest because I always say you can't focus on solely regions of the air, of the body part of your training, you're gonna get contraction in the middle, the lower, everything. So just make sure, you know, the main thing, obviously we're trying to hit the upper to get that fullness, but really just get overall pump and get contraction in the muscle. So next exercise we rolled over to was uh, the fly movement, okay? And I did that fly also on an incline bench because I really wanted to get as much back as I could, really open up the, the chest muscles really get that tissue stretched out. So I did three working sets. I didn't go into any working, uh, any warm-up sets there. I did all working sets, straight sets. Uh, pyramided up just 10 pounds. Finished out at like 75 pounds. Really getting that contraction, really squeezing the chest. Uh, great exercise for that. Now, the next exercise is a little different from what you've seen. I've actually learned this exercise from Dorian Yates when I was in Hawaii in 95, guest posing with him. You know, I watched how he trained. I was one of those kids that like kind of sat back and I'm like, man, that's Dorian Yates. And 
what can I learn? I mean, I'm kind of like all about that when I'm in the gym. I pay attention to kind of what people are doing so I can learn some stuff. And what I did is basically it's, it's a pull down bar. Okay, and what I do is I do kind of a neutral grip. I don't go wide. I go pretty like, like just beyond shoulder width. And what I try to do is I keep the legs back, as you notice, I didn't wrap my legs under because I'm not doing a heavy weight. And what I'm really trying to do is just stretch the chest, okay? So it's kind of like, I compare it to like a pullover movement without doing the pullover. It's really just stretching the chest. So what I do is I kind of hook the bar with my, with my fingers and I let the weight kind of pull and stretch the whole chest area. And when I come down, you notice the bar only goes to about here. So it really, it, I'm actually squeezing my chest as I come down and do the motion. I'm actually squeezing the chest, so I'm stretching and squeezing. 12 repetitions of that, three sets. Awesome movement, make sure you guys try it. At some point I'll probably put it on here and really demonstrate, but you'll see kind of the movement, but just remember it's not a ton of weight. Uh, last exercise I did was the bench press dumbbells. Okay, as you guys know, I never bench press anymore unless it's on a Smith machine. I feel it's not a safe movement to do, especially someone my age, not really necessary. Also, the dumbbells are better for the unilateral movement, okay? As you guys notice, I always have a deficiency on how even my dumbbells are. People have asked that question. I did tear this bicep back in 11. I did have surgery, and what it did is it kind of it tightened up my shoulder a little bit because obviously that was shortened because they tied the bicep back through the shoulder joint. So it shortened my range. So you notice there's a little range of motion difference. And that's always been that case since then. So what I'm really trying to do on the flat press is really just get the, the contraction, the chest work, the overall chest, great movement to finish. And uh, you know, that's gonna do it for my chest day. Uh, you guys have seen this all before, but just a little more explained. I'm um, just trying to get this work in. I'm gonna hit a little bit of calves right now, and uh, and then we'll finish off, have a little aminos, and get on with the rest of my day. So make sure you guys keep training high, keep following the channel, and more importantly, kill it. after I train when I'm not gonna eat right away I always do uh, some essential branch chain aminos so I can get in a little bit of recovery or before your cardio session so if you guys are doing your cardio after the workouts people always ask me what do I take after I weight train before I do my cardio I suggest taking some combination as such. This is my Generate from Cutler Nutrition. I just launched this product. This is Essential Aminos, Branch Chain Amino combination. And, uh, time for recovery. Alright, so we just finished chest training, little calves, and I'm going to get 30 minutes of bike work in. Now, normally I do my cardio first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, but today, because I wanted to shoot a little earlier, knock it out, uh, I'd missed my fasted cardio this morning. So getting 30 minutes done, just keep the body moving. I had a solid breakfast an hour before I train. Just had my aminos, which you just saw. And then I'll get a meal follow up in about, probably about an hour. Remember your, your window of recovery is about an hour after the, training session so as long as I eat an hour after I finish cardio I'm good and, uh, and then I'll finish the rest of the day being more consecutive with my meals I'm trying to get my weight above 240 this week I came home from all the travel about 238 so just trying to get more solid get more fullness and uh, keep tuning in because uh, we got a lot of content coming your way see you guys soon